Greetings Space Engineers, this is Commander Chewbacca and welcome back. And today's video we're going to have in two parts and we're creating a sun tracking solar array. Now just a heads up before we start, if you are planning to build up on a multiplayer server, just make sure the properties of that server that it can take scripts because for this to work properly it will require scripts and with the new multiplayer update scripts are no longer working at this point and same with air tightness they will be back shortly but at this point they're just disabled um, until some more development has done so the first thing we're going to need to do is work out where we're going to be putting um, our new piece of equipment so we're making a sun tracking solar array so a solar array that will track the sun getting us as much free energy as we can to power up our batteries. So what I've determined in my mind looking around, I'm thinking if we expand out this way, we should be good. So let's go ahead really quick and work out, yep, about here. Great. And so we're going to hit five, four, there we go. And we're just going to build out a couple of blocks. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to allow for a, um, a bit of a gap. So here is my marker point. So at the most extreme, when this um, tracking array is pivoting around, it won't go past this point. So the sun tracking solar array will be, so from one, two, three, four. Then we have a pivoting point, one, two, three. So here is our center there and then a pivoting point one two three four so the next one we're going to do is we're going to put uh, okay put this there okay good 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 put a door here and then this is just for my reference what we're going to do is put down there we go here And there, there, okay, good. So I'm just building up the base. There we go. Building up what, the, uh, the base foundation here of this sun tracking solar array. And then we'll put that there, that there, this here. And you can do anything you want. In this case, what I'm actually doing is I'm setting up, you can see here, the components of the base of the foundation. And we're gonna have some windows and stuff like that here later on, if I can get this right. And there, okay, good. So the, once we get to the, the foundation done, which is what we just did here, uh, we've measured it out as much as we need to do. And from this point, we're going to go to the center and we're going to be building five up. Now that's not including the foundation. This is five from the foundation. So we want to build um, five units up. So if we go into our light armor block and we find the center point, which is here, we want to build five units up. So before we go any further, if I hit inventory, you'll need generally a lot of steel plate to start with. Um, I just grab a few different things here, but <clears throat> what you're really looking for is hydrogen bottles. Make sure you have these and make sure that your bottles are fully charged up with um, hydrogen. So we're gonna hit X and then we're gonna build up one, two, three, four, five. Now on the fifth, what we're actually going to do is we're going to be going G and you can see it's here, but if you haven't already put it in, type in rotor and you can choose either the advanced or the regular rotor. It doesn't matter which one because both the rotors are identical in regards to the amount of resources they take. So we're going to, and then once you've got the rotor up, you need to build it up as quick as you can before applying anything else. So you want the rotor completely built before you go any further. The reason for that is if you don't, it won't be locked into place and it will pivot and so you will then be building while this equipment here that you're setting up is spinning and you really don't want that it just makes life a little bit more difficult and once you got that done then you go back to your blocks and just go one two three making sure this is centralized here and then putting another two rotor blocks in here so we're going to have there we go we'll just place him there like that 
and like that and we just build them up now what we can do once we get to this point we can actually just land on here <coughs> and build it up like this we can save as much of our hydrogen as possible because it just limits the amount of times we have to go back to our ship so this will be three rotors we're building we're building one that goes left and right so spins left and right and then we're building two that rotate up and down so we got we need more steel tubes okay so let's head over to grab some more steel tubes should be plenty you can see the sun's coming up so the sooner we can get this done the better okay okay that's done Now just a reminder, a big component of this will be script. Without the script, it, the system does not know what to do with the rotors. So the um, this system will be static, although you can manually move it if you choose to. Um, but my recommendation is if you can find a server with scripts available, that's what you should be looking for. Okay, so once you've got this done like that, so you've got five blocks up, a rotor, three blocks, like center one, block, block, rotor, rotor then you want to build out four. You can build more if you want, but this is what I find is best. One, two, three, four. And the same with the other side. One, two, three, four. Great. So once you've got these four, what you need to do next is go eight to choose your solar panels. Expand that. And then you want to set two solar panels up. So I'm going to set one here and make sure it's in the correct positioning and one there one here and one there and then you can also put some underneath as well if you choose to like that and I messed up that one okay There we go. And so that's the very bare basics of the sun tracking solar array right there. So there's your foundation of what you should be seeing. The last thing we need to do to make this work is, before we start building it up, is we need to put in a programmable block. Now you can choose to put the programmable block anywhere. As long as it's on the grid, it'll work. So you can put it down the base here. You can put it in your ship here. Or you can put it here where you want it. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to create a programmable block it right here so I'm going to hit G control 2 can type in program there it is there and we are going to just pivot this thing around so we can see a little sense there and we're going to build up the programmable block I am racing through this fairly quickly and once I get this done I will quickly build the rest of it up so we've got the programmable block here and the last thing we need to do before it to work is to build up these sun tracking solar ray solar panels. So before we go any further, I am going to just fast forward uh, um, five times the speed and get this quickly built up. Okay, so just give me one moment and I'll be back in a minute. Enjoy the music and we're just building up these solar panels.
Okay, so we're back. So the next point we're going to do is we have got this machine set up here. So we have five up, we have a rotor, we have a sender uh, block with one block on either side, then a rotor on each side of those. It doesn't matter if it's standard or advanced, and then four more blocks. So you can see here, four solar panels work perfectly with four blocks, and the same on this side. We built three of them up because you have enough for six to start with from that ship. The next thing we have to do is we have to set the script to start running. Now before we go any further, if I quickly look at this, you can see here we've got three of the four icons green and they're lit up. Yeah, obviously if there's only one that's red it means it's getting no power. If it's getting one it's between one and 25 percent. Two is between 25 and 50 percent. Three is 50 to 75 and four is 75 or greater. So what we want to do is make sure that all that four if possible that's going to give us the most amount of energy possible while the sun's up and it's free energy. So once you've expended these resources, you don't have to do anything further. The next thing we need to do is come up to the programmable block and enter it by putting the button, uh, putting the button F. And then once we're in here, you're going to see this custom data and edit. <coughs> if you're on a multiplayer server that does not have the ability to run scripts this edit button will not show you will see custom data but you won't see edit if you don't see edit you can't run the software so the first thing we need to do is click on edit and then you'll see this information here which is referencing a software program called C sharp but we're not too worried about that because the scripts will be in the um, the workshop so what we can do here is click on browse scripts and you can see here, I have two scripts in this list, but yours will most likely be empty. If it's empty, click on Open in Workshop. And then what's going to happen is, it's going to open this script up here. This little window will pop up. And then what you want to do is, you want to type in Izzy. I-S-Y. Now, the Izzy is a space engineer from Germany. And he writes wonderful scripts. So if you have a script, like you can see here, I am subscribed to this script and it's the inventory one, you have a check mark here. If you don't, you will not have a check mark. So all you have to do, yeah, the easy ship refuel as example, it has a plus sign. Click on that plus sign and you'll see check mark. Okay, once you see the check mark, we're good. Just close that out and go shift tab and you're back into this area. Now what you won't see is the script. So what you need to do from this point is click the button called Refresh Scripts. And there it is. It just refreshed the script. There's his ship refueler. What we are looking for is the Izzy's Solar Alignment Script. Now Izzy has a really good YouTube channel. I'll flash that on just now. Okay, so have a look at his YouTube channel and definitely subscribe to him. He has some fantastic work. So once we get to the Izzy's Alignment Script, click on it once and then click on OK. Then what you're going to find is the script's actually just embedded itself in this particular programmable block. So the next thing we need to do is go check code. And it's going to check the code for any errors. And it said it's successful. And we click on OK. Then we click on OK. So the next thing we need to do, once we got this point, we look over to the right here. And we can see, is this solar alignment scripts running? Because it's spinning around here. But there's an error. It says rotor groups not found, solar rotors. So what we need to do now is we need to look at these rotors here. And if we're not sure, just go in here and type rotor. And we click on these. And once we selected all these, so you click on the first one, click on the last one. As you click on the last one, hold the shift key down and click the button. Or you can just go click, control, click, control, click. Then create a group called solar rotors and hit save. And once we've done that, if we go back to the programmable block, X out, F, now what it's doing is it's saying it's aligned. So in just a moment, we should start seeing these rotors moving. Here we go. So now, when we look up, these rotors are moving, and they're going to align to the sun. So this will be the end of the first part of this two-part episode. If you have any questions, feel free to put a message in and just let me know. The second part of this episode, which will be starting shortly, is once you've got this structure set up, how to make it a bit more friendlier and prettier. So I'm going to be beautifying it in the way that I do, that I would like to see the sun tracking solar array. And just reminder, 
all the resources that we've used has either come out of this one mine here or directly from our lander ship. So that's a very simplistic approach. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. But that is the Sun Tracking Solar Array with the Izzy script. And um, it's a fantastic system. And as you can see, it's currently lining up. And now it's finished lining up its horizontal. Now it's lining up the vertical. And so you can see that these are now lining up vertically. And so in just a moment, all six of these um, solar array panels will have a complete four or 100% um, gain rate of their energy, which is really what we want. It's fantastic. All right, well, I hope you found this useful. This is Commander Chewbacca signing out.